Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. Check out shootyschool.com for elite courses and more free videos. We're going to check out Come Together by The Beatles and we're going to program it by hand in Easy Drummer 3's grid editor. Doesn't matter if you have Easy Drummer 3 or not, a piano roll in your DAW, whatever. You can still follow along. So if you've never looked in the grid editor before I've done or I've done work like this, check out episode one in the series where I do We Will Rock You and I cover a whole foundation of information that help you get up and running. All right. So let's get started. Come Together, I thought was an Aerosmith song growing up in the late 80s and throughout the 90s. Uh, eventually realized, yeah, it's a Beatles song. And let's check it out real quick. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I rarely use the word groovy, man, but that is groovy. One thing about that beat is it, it has a muffled kit. This course, you know, this video is not about getting tone, but let's just get a muffled kit real quick. If you own Easy Drummer 3, you go to the Tightroom, go down the drum kits, you can load up a toweled kit, and that just sucks to sustain right out of your drum shells. Listen. pretty cool and it's a fast way to get that vibe. We're not really going after tone in this series. We're just kind of learning the grid editor, you know, choosing really popular beats so it's as entertaining as possible. So do do get a do do so right on that when I count one in my head I'm counting with my fingers for your sake do do there's two beats before I count two do, do. So there's eighth notes. I'm going to put my resolution on eighth notes as I typically do. And I'm going to take humanize off for this specific beat because humanize is a magic, magical thing that helps your manual programming sound more human. But when it comes to a lot of drum fills, you know, it really doesn't understand exactly what you're doing. And sometimes it does a little too much that you got to fix later. So I'd rather work without humanize and humanize it myself later. So I'm going to keep this off and I'll experiment with that button on your own. But I hear two eighth notes. And where are those eighth notes? Zoom in a little more. It's these vertical lines because I have eighth notes selected in resolution. Do, 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 do. There's a ride backing it up. And that is not the tempo I want. I'm just going to tap tempo. Do, 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 It's around 80. Good. Those kicks sound a little harsh. So I'm just going to select just the kicks. I'm going to open up my velocity lane. And yeah, those are maxed out hits. I'm going to bring them down a little. Even though they'll seem a little quieter, more so I want them to sound less hard hitting. I want them puffier. If I want them louder or quieter, I'd, I, I would turn them up or down on the mixer tab or on the drums tab, but I want the dynamics down so the drummer's actually applying less pressure. That almost did it right there. I just want puffier sound. Yeah. So do, do, t -t 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 -t. so on two, do, do, t -t -t -t. a hi-hat roll starts on two and it rolls. So grab my pencil tool. I'm on eighth notes. That's going to be too slow, but let's just for reference draw out a high hi hat roll in between beats two and three and hear it. Obviously too slow, right? So what's our next resolution? It's 16th notes. Let's try that. Ba, 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 ba. That sounds awkward, and I can tell that's still too slow, but you should at least be able to identify that doesn't sound right. So let, now let's try 30 second notes. We need it faster. And when I selected 30 second notes, I didn't see more vertical lines appear. It's because I'm not zoomed in far enough. There they are. See how I zoom out, the lines go away. Doesn't matter what resolution you're on, they'll go away. You got to zoom in enough to actually see the proper resolution lines you have selected. So do, do, right? Let's check it out. Eh, <clears throat> I might be fooled for a little while that that's it, but that's too fast. It's do do ba da da da. And this is boom boom. Da, 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 da. So, hopefully, an alarm or some sort of stress indicator is triggering right now. You're like, 
I can only find rhythms that are too fast or too slow. I can't find the right rhythm, though. It's not there. Hopefully, you've come to that realization because 16th notes were too slow, 32nd notes were too fast. Well, there is a resolution in between that, and that is a 16th note triplet. In between a 16th note and a 32nd note is a 16th note triplet. Let's try it. Even though I don't see the line, I have the resolution selected. It will let me draw it out. Yeah. I mean, triplets are a tough lesson to just start talking about them and getting people to understand them if they don't already have a foundation. But that would be a great first impression. When you finally start getting these resolutions under your belt, triplets are resolutions in between these resolutions. So that might be a good first way to at least be introduced to them. Do, do, so on three, a tom roll starts. So let's just draw out a tom roll starting on three. And I can tell from this hi-hat roll, the toms are the same resolution. It's the same syllable, rhythmic syllable that I'm saying out loud. Let me just draw out a fill. I think it's this long. I'm not sure. I put it on the ride. Let me just confirm real quick. This is the amount of notes. It is. I'll get a loop going. So he does play different toms throughout this, but I just want to get the easy answers right on the test first. That's how many notes there are, and that is the correct rhythm. And as for which tom he hits at what time, you know, there's not really a way to teach that. As you do ear training more and listen to stuff more and transcribe more, you'll just get faster at it. You'll understand it better. I did transcribe this beat before I started this episode, so I know which one. One's change. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the second tom. And this is, I think this is it. Let's check it out. Yep. So there's the beat, at least as best as I can transcribe it. It, of course, it sounds like it's a robot, though. So now we're going to try and humanize it a little bit and use some grid editor features to do so. But this is the beat. We already turned down these kicks to make them puff here. That was a good thing. Let's listen to this hi-hat. You know, it sounds quite robotic. Listen to the original. It goes... T -t 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 -t. It ramps right up. So he started soft and hitting harder. K -k -k -k. So if I select these four notes and I have my velocity panel expanded, that means I can control the velocity of the selected notes. And there is a slope feature. I like to say ramp as well. And it's where you visually build a ramp. And I want to go from low dynamic to high dynamic. So I'll use this left slope. There we go. Yeah. I want that last one to be much louder though. That'll kind of launch us over this silence or rest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe the hi-hat articulation. This is as tight as this hi-hat can play. I want it a little looser. Let's try this. Good. And now, whether he does this on the original recording or not, I'm just producing it myself a little bit. I do want this last note to sustain a little bit more over this rest. So I'm just going to open up the hi-hat a little bit more. I'm going to use open edge one instead. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Uh, it just sounds so awful. Let's fix it. You know, actually, I was going to say, hey, let's randomize the timing of this, but let's do a small timing randomize adjustment, a small one to the whole beat before I add a bigger one to the, just the drum fill. So under timing menu... I've selected everything in our beat. So now anything I do with these controls will be affected because they're all selected. I'm going to use the randomize feature. And a good way to watch, witness what happens is you can see these dots move, but people complain in my videos. They don't see it all the time, but I see it. If you open up the velocity panel, you can see these lollipops. Look at just the stem. You'll see those move. I'm going to do the randomize feature. Here we go. And I'm just going to do it a touch right now. See those moving? 
Let's give it a little tiny thing. Even though we're just talking milliseconds at a time, I do feel like an overall feel happened, but um, I could just be having psychological warfare for myself with myself though, since I saw it happen. So I think I heard it, but I think that's better. But I want to get something. So now we've randomized this whole beat just a touch. But now I want to do it a little more dramatic with these tom hits. So I'm going to push these even a little more. Yes, definitely. I was looking at this big space up here, and I thought that might sound like a mistake, but it didn't. It feels good. Again. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So... We only took care of just a few percent of tweaking as opposed to the whole kit and caboodle. So something more needs to happen. We'll do that with dynamics. So he does the same thing with those toms that he did with the hi-hat. He does kind of a ramp up. Let's hear it. Oh yeah. It's not a dramatic ramp, but those last notes are going up in velocity. So I have all these selected still. I'll do a slope. I don't want to do anything dramatic, just enough so I can start seeing the shape. And let me hit play and see if I can hear that shape, okay? Try not to let your eyes fool you, which was a, a point I was trying to make a minute ago. Psychological warfare, you know? Do you hear it or did you do you only see it? That might happen to you. Yeah, so comparing these first notes to the last ones, the difference is happening, so that works for me. I want this last one to be really loud, similar to this hi-hat I did over here. That one's really loud. There's one thing I want to introduce to you, especially if you don't know triplets, but this is a good advice about any note duration. In straight note durations, you know, 8 note, 16, 30 second, you now you count in fours and eight. Basically, you see groups of even numbers like that. In triplets, you see groups of threes and sixes, right? So that's the point. It's a triplet. It's not really a straight or round number. Three, six, nine, and so on. So if I look at this beat, since we're working with triplets, if I look at this beat in groups of threes, I can do some accenting. So here's one group of three. Here's another group of three. Here's another group of three. Okay? Let's grab the first hit of each group of three. And this is a theory, but if you're a drummer and you're playing triplets, you're probably coming down harder. Three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. You're thinking about groups of threes and you're really connecting for the first in every group. So now I grab the first in every group of three. We don't, yep. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, right? It's just checking my work. And raise the velocity of just those and you'll hear some really comfortable accents in my opinion. I haven't heard this yet, but uh, totally different. You can really, I mean, you can really hear this one pop out and it kind of re resets that group of three that you're hearing and you kind of feel ka -ka 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 I don't think there's any need to continue. We humanized this. We found some accents and triplets. We realized we have triplets. We're talking about resolution, you know. Hopefully, not only can you program this beat, but hopefully you feel more comfortable coming into the grid editor. So I'm Sean from Shooty School. Check out shootyschool.com for elite courses and more free videos. If you liked what you see, please comment below. It helps me out a lot and do subscribe if you want to see more. Peace.